Hello, and welcome to Miracle Mom and Michael. And Mom is not on the phone right now, so this is not, uh, this is a lie. It's a, it's a little white lie, but you know, this is the normal screen that you're used to seeing. It, it'll change over time as the show uh, program channel develops. Um, there's a surprise coming up a little bit later. Uh, I just recorded something else with a different picture over here, and uh, I'll be posting that. Well, today is a Saturday, so this video I'm posting today, and the other one I'll post for tomorrow. I don't think we'll normally post on Sundays, but this is a surprise. It's a surprise for mom. So, hi, mom. You're probably going to be the first one to watch this, so we got something coming tomorrow. <laughs> This could be very interesting, uh, but I do want to do this segment. Uh, I'm this. What I'm about to talk about is unrelated to the surprise. So I'm actually going to be introducing another segment right now. Miracle Mom and Michael, the channel, uh, it looks like we're falling into a, um, a a routine, a schedule, you know, a programming schedule. We're doing a three. Well, four regular segments, it uh, looks like. One will just be the, the behind the scenes. Every time I call mom, there's like a little bit of business we do, uh, programming. Um, I don't really know what to call that yet. Just miscellaneous. That's I'm just going to put the same image on those. There's a couple of them so far. But the the regular you know, content, aside from that, that's if you just want to look at behind the scenes. But we have a Bible or a scripture reading and contemplation and, and discussion and disagreement. Um, Mom and I are both Christians, but anybody who's a Christian knows there's a lot of internal uh, uh, arguments. You know, there are certain things you have to believe to be a Christian, and then there's plenty of things you can disagree upon. And, you know, any two people are going to find something to do, disagree upon. And so I think that's uh, a fun and interesting part of this, this thing we're doing. Uh, then, the, so I think right now I'm going to call that section Bible chat. So I'll just refer to it as the Bible chat segment. I think it's going to be a daily segment. Uh, and then the, another type of content or another themed content for maybe every day it's it's current events or right now since we're since there's this global pandemic that that one's called the global chernobyl we'll just title that that theme global chernobyl we'll talk about the virus we'll talk about geopolitics what's going on in the world what the implications are um, and then another segment is mom is telling her life story, which is actually kind of the primary impetus for doing this thing in the first place. That's mom. Well, she almost died uh, actually a couple of times, but this past December 9th, 2019, she had an event, a, a, a medical physiological, well, a heart attack and a pulmonary emboli. So she, she her, her lungs, her heart just exploded into her lungs, basically. Her, her, her heart released blood into both lungs, filled them up, filled the brachia up with blood. Normally, it's called an, a pulmonary embolism, where you have one or two blood clots in the lungs. She had about 50 of them, just both lungs filled with blood, and that's fatal when that happens. And she had a, a severe heart attack in the process, or maybe it was the heart attack that caused it, but two, two fatal medical events that she should she should be dead and be, the timing of where she was uh and when it happened and a new invention that just happened to be where they took her is the only reason she's alive she even told me that the doctor was preparing was going to have her call the next of kin her family before she went into surgery because they didn't expect her to survive people don't survive this kind of thing but she did. And even he was emotional afterwards. He couldn't believe the miracle that he got to be a part of. So that, that, that just got me to thinking, uh, hmm, that could have been the last time I spoke to my mom. She could be gone that quickly. She's 75 years old. Um, and so how many stories do you hear of people that just regret not having that last conversation with the person, people that they care about? 
and you and the whole elder you know the our elders who have all this history and experience and you know how well do you even really know the people in your life how well do you really know them you just take for granted i grew up with them they taught me what they knew but <laughs> she's got some fascinating stories as some of you can already attest to <laughs> Um, and so that was the impetus for starting this YouTube channel to just have conversations with mom and pull that stuff out of her and have it recorded uh, here digitally forever um, because, you know, she almost died and she it may happen again or you know, maybe you're right on the horizon or but uh, get as much out of her as I can as long as this as long as she's alive. We're going to keep this YouTube channel going. Um, so those are uh, that content is mom reminiscing mom telling her life story so bible chat content global chernobyl content and mom reminisces or miracle mom reminisces maybe those won't be the final names of the segments but i'm going to start a new segment and i don't know if it'll be a day daily segment or if it'll be a weekly segment but this is it this is the first one um and that's me telling my story not i don't know if i'll go back to you know my childhood or you know you know we'll, we'll let her tell about my childhood uh but i work in hollywood or at least i did until the world shut down and hollywood shut down the day here here's an example of of this would be kind of behind the scenes in my experiences in hollywood and here's here's an example the day so I ha I wrote a script. I have a I've been re researching a project for a while, and so it's a true story. It's a it's a historical epic, and it's the first time I came across the story. I thought, how come I never heard this before? This really happened, and I tracked it down and secured the rights and did the research and completed the script. And I have a friend who's a big big movie producer, who told me. Maybe I shouldn't say this here, but he had told me he wanted to help me with it. And it's like, he's the only guy I would really want to work with on this. Well, if you have a list of preferences, he's the first one. Like, you know, I'll work with whoever ends up being that person, whether it's him or not. But like, this is a guy's a friend of mine. And if he wants to help on this movie, if he picks this as one of his projects, like, yeah, yeah, you get first shot at it. So he was waiting on the script. I finished the script this past February and it was long and then I cut it down because um, it was real long I got it cut down toward the end of February and sent it to him and set up a meeting with him um, the first meeting he says you know what we have to postpone for a week because I'm doing reshoots on my movie that's coming out in April I'm like okay and then that was pushed by another week because he had to fly to New York and then that Friday, we were supposed to meet. I think it's, it's into March by the, this time, March of this year. That Friday, we were supposed to meet. I uh, said, do you want me to read You know, before we meet? I'm like, yes, here's the 100-page version of the script. <laughs> um, and, you know, he was going to read it, and then we were going to meet. We had it on the calendar. And that day... It was that day, I believe it was that day, that all international travel was suspended. Whatever day that was. It was the day before. I think it was the day before our meeting. International travel was suspended, which means Hollywood closed. This never, never happened before. Tra uh, air travel, if there's no international travel, there is no Hollywood at least the big movies, like, you know, traveling around the world is it's how you make movies. You, sh you shoot everywhere and fly everywhere and you have big crowd scenes of, you know, extras with action going on in the foreground and that's over. I mean, that ended for the foreseeable future. It's done. And that's the types of movies this guy makes. Big, big budget blockbuster movies. <clears throat> so uh it, we were texting back and forth i'm like uh so we can we meet today he's like S i have to postpone indefinitely i'm shutting down all i'm having these are his words i'm having final meetings on all my projects 
final meetings on all my projects. Uh, and I don't know how many he had. I mean, I've been to his office and he had a, he probably has, you know, three or four going at any time, plus those in development, um, pre-production, etc. And uh, when I finished communicating, texting with him, I went online and literally his biggest movie that was about to come out in April this month was postponed for a year. It was literally about to come out. And I just got off the text interchange with him and he said I was having final meetings. So that movie was the first meeting he had with this A-list star, etc. And um, so my meeting has been indefinitely pushed off because of this, because he's in recovery mode or whatever, whatever's happening in Hollywood, everything's shut down, everything, you know, your TV shows don't have audiences anymore. And those TV shows that require travel are just not, anybody who's in post-production, anybody who's already shot all their stuff in the can, they're good. You know, they're, they're editing away and, but, New productions are, you know, but he's shooting green screen stuff with a small crew. That's good. You could still do that. But the big budget productions are on an indefinite hiatus. And so my script being read, my meeting have been pushed off to whenever. He said he's going to read it. Um, and, and maybe there'll come a moment when he's settled down enough and is able to focus on that. But this Hollywood shut down his uh filled his plate with unexpected work you know how do you shut down a production or uh, it's probably lawyer stuff because my entertainment lawyer i got i got on the phone with her about my project and she's like oh people that don't have good lawyers right now or or don't have a good didn't have a good contract are really suffering because in hollywood contracts there are contingencies like when you shut down a production for usually it's like a 15 day you know there's there's a clause in there it's like you can have a 15 day shutdown and not suffer or not um not be uh, i i don't know the terminology in the, the legalese but uh you don't default on the invest in investments or whatever i mean there's so many contracts involved in making a tv show or a movie um and so what she would my lawyer was doing was she has several attorneys working for her. They're just going over all their contracts, making sure they've covered their bases. And, you know, because this is, a, I guess, technically a global pandemic is considered an act of God. The legal term is it's an act of God. And those are, I mean, if you have the right lawyer and, a, you know, the right contract, it'll, it'll be in there. And, um, well, let's just say everybody's losing money right now. Everybody. Well, no, there's a few people that are making money. I have a business partner who works in investment and uh, there are some people who bet on people losing money and when people lose money, they make money. And so that's a whole world that I'm not involved with either. But so here, here's a little sneak peek of, of the new segment. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, it's going to be, you know, I'll have mom on the phone for some of this. Uh, it's not just going to be me talking uh, endlessly about boring Hollywood stuff, but so surprise mom, um, mom didn't know I was going to do this segment. So surprise. So post this on Facebook, mom, pass it on. Love you. And, uh, cue the end tag. Now, thanks for watching. And remember every time you do, you witness a miracle. Mom was supposed to die in December of 2019. Now, every breath she takes is a gift from God. If this video was encouraging to you, share it with someone you care about. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Right here somewhere. Right in here. This button. This thing. It's like right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs>